Hey, hello everybody. Uh, Tom with uh, the Outdoor Cook Store once again. Uh, listen, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for being here. We appreciate uh, appreciate you watching and uh, want to say thanks especially to our uh, all of our subscribers, both uh, YouTube and our newsletter subscribers. So listen, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, right hand side of our blog, there will be an opt-in form, name and email address, and you're set. Get our, uh, our uh, newsletter once a week. Um, Anyway, once again, thanks. Appreciate you being here and following. Uh, today we're out going to do some Dutch oven cooking once again. Um, I'm going to do some ribs. I've already done those. You guys have already seen that. I'm going to do them a little differently, so I'll leave in the blog post. I'll, I'm going to do a different rub and a different barbecue sauce, make my own. So I'm going to leave those in there. But the main thing, we're going to do a, a pinto bean recipe, kind of a spicy pinto bean recipe. This is really good stuff. I like it a lot. I actually found the, the recipe in a book called Great Meals Dutch Oven Style by Dale Smith. Uh, I kind of tweaked it slightly as I do a lot of recipes, but it's a very good recipe. Uh, this book's a great book, by the way. So, um, you know, you ought to check it out. A lot, if you like Dutch oven cooking, a lot of good recipes in here, a lot of good techniques. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to get the uh, ribs started. Then we'll come back and fire up uh, the uh, the beans um, and, and run through that uh, recipe. Incidentally, I've got my Camp Chef Dutch oven table set up. Uh, Camp Chef 12 inch Dutch and a 14 inch Dutch. Um, I don't carry these products at this time at our main site, the Outdoor Cook Store, but uh, through affiliate links in the blog post. If you want more information on these products, you can get them as well as this book. So. Uh, you want to check this stuff out, blog posts will have links. Okay. Anyway, let me get this rolling. Okay, I've got my ribs going. i got uh, my 12-inch Dutch uh, for the, where we're going to put the beans. i got that uh, preheated down there. So, recipe called bottom heat only. So, you know, you could do this. I'm doing it on Dutch outside. It's a good camping recipe. You can do this uh, inside on your stove top or on any uh, camp cook stove as well. Um, but anyway, for this, the recipe calls for 15 coals on the bottom. I'm starting off with 18 or 19 because i got to brown some, uh, some bacon. So start with a little more than I need. So let me take this off. I've got some bacon. I'm going to brown this. Recipe calls for... Four pieces. I've got five. I like bacon. In case you haven't noticed. So, I'm going to cook that bacon until it's crisp. We're going to pull that out, set it aside. When it cools, we'll crumble it up. When that's done, I've got some green onions, one bunch of green onions, a uh, quarter cup of chopped cilantro. We're going to brown that. And once that's done, we'll come back and um, we'll put the beans in. Uh, we'll add our, uh, our um, uh, spices. We've got some, uh, I, I, I'm using some chipotle salt, pepper, um, and some uh, uh, chili powder. And as well as, uh, you know, a tablespoon or better of uh, diced uh, uh, garlic. So I'm using a little, little different than what uh, the recipe suggests, but this is really good this way. I like it. So anyway, then we're going to cook that for an hour or so. Then we're going to add uh, add this stuff back in, the, uh, the cilantro, the onions, the bacon, and two diced up tomatoes. So anyway. We'll be back when uh, when this is done and we get to the uh, we get to throw the beans. In. Okay, uh, got the onions, cilantro, brown, put over, put aside along with the uh, bacon. Now I'm gonna take the lid off. From around here, I've got three cup pinto beans. They go in. I've got my spices uh, and garlic. Now, spices, salt, pepper. Um, I think I'll Mexican seasoning, cumin. I'd change them up just a little. And we're going to pour in enough water. I may need to get more. 
And I'm using hot water, by the way, because i got a hot cast iron. You want enough to cover the beans. And that's like a little over four cups, and that's just enough to cover these beans. I'm going to stir that up, mix that up real good. We're going to let them simmer. We'll just let those simmer for probably an hour. I'm about to change the Okay. I uh, added some coals just a bit ago. So that's a little more than simmering, but I know it's getting close, so I'm going to add. I've got uh, my, remember we did the cilantro, the green onions, the uh, um, bacon, and then there's a couple of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I add all of that in there, and we're going to stir that around. Let that simmer another half hour. It smells good. That smells good. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Whoop. Beans aren't quite there yet, which is perfect. The way it's supposed to be. So we'll let that go a little bit longer. And the ribs are coming along just fine, so we'll be back. Okay, let's take a look at this. I think they're done. It's been a while. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. This is still really hot. Let me. Mmm. Yep, they're nice and tender. All oh, those are good. Okay, we're gonna serve these up in just a bit. Let me get these things going, and we'll serve them up, and, uh, huh, they're good. Okay, folks. Wow. The beans are good. These ribs, oh, with so much moisture. Try the beans first, because that's what we are uh, featuring here. Completely done. Nice and tender. I just got to give them a good hour and a half. Oh, nice and tender, good flavor. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna include in, in the blog post, of course, it will be the uh, the uh, recipe for these. Um, I'll give you the recipe for, straight from the book, straight from uh, Dale Smith's book, excellent book, by the way. Now, I tweaked a little, I, I, I upped the ingredients and I added a couple others, um, just because I like it a little spicier. And, a little more flavor, but uh, that's a great recipe to start with, man. This is good. Mm. Those are freaking good beans. Those are really freaking good beans. Yeah, let me show you this rib. Oh, oh, oh. Dutch oven ribs, you, oh, there's so much moisture in this. It's just moist and tender. Good flavor. Get the flavor from the rub, flavor from the sauce I put on there. Anyway, folks, listen, this is a great meal. you got to love Dutch oven cooking. Give it, if you don't, if you've never tried Dutch oven cooking, you got to give it a try. It's just, it's excellent. So much fun, and it is great at the campsite. Great in the backyard. Uh, you know, great over the stove. I mean, Dutch oven's a great thing. Anyway, listen, thanks for following, uh, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for following us. We, we appreciate it. And uh, if you, uh, like I said, i got... Uh, Links in the blog for the for the book, uh, Dutch Oven Meals, uh, uh, Great Dutch Oven Meals from Dale Smith. And um, we got links for the for Dutch Ovens, Camp Chef Dutch Ovens, and Camp Chef Table will be in the blog as well. So, and don't forget to sign up for our, uh, for our uh, newsletter right inside the blog post. Folks, we'll catch up with you next time. Enjoy the outdoors. And uh, God bless everyone.